I don't run into very many people who don't know who Margaret Flansburg is. She impacts people in a way that makes them appreciate things that are beautiful, as well as things that are functional. Chickasaw citizen Margaret Flansburg has spent her life dazzling people with her keen knowledge of the arts and all things aesthetic. Margaret has lived a life of open doors. Whether she be the usher or the guest, she has shared her belief that with hard work and the right mindset, anything is possible. Margaret grew up in Duncan, Oklahoma, a community which benefited from the local oil industry. It was sort of the, maybe a typical small town for that time period, and everybody knew everyone, the streets were safe, and we also had a lot of investment in education and arts activities in Duncan. Margaret grew up the niece of the city's music director, but her interest was piqued by more visual expression. So I grew up with music, but connected with that was just generally the arts. Most little girls in my generation wanted to be either teachers or nurses, but I always wanted to be an artist and never thought about doing anything else. The women of her family, particularly her grandmother, ensured that young Margaret was well aware of her Chickasaw heritage. Well, I heard lots of stories of my grandmother's uh, growing up on the farm area down in Stonewall. Uh, she was uh, the, the daughter of a Shulatubby who had 17 surviving children. She's one of these people that likes to know where she came from, and I think, and has always been very involved in the family, and uh, because of that, the Chickasaw's uh, tribe and that heritage has always been a large part of her personal identity. Upon high school graduation, Margaret continued her education at the University of Oklahoma, where she was immediately drawn to the art program. Although she had intended to study painting and found great creative outlet in the craft, she soon found her true passion, art history. I wasn't gonna make money, particularly for my painting, but from teaching art history, I thought I could do that. Well, it was a turning point in my life, how the artists worked and explaining it to other people became really a, a new direction and I really never left it. In some ways, it was like solving a puzzle. You've got, you've got the completed picture and then you figure out what it all means and, and I really loved that. Margaret took her new passion and turned it into a career full of opening the doors to art history for other people. She has published and presented numerous articles and papers on the topic, all while serving as a dedicated educator. She is very good with students, and uh, her, her career uh, involved an awful lot of mentorship with other students and getting them to the point of giving conference papers and getting publication and even travel abroad, extensive travel abroad. Uh, but Margaret was always there and would help students uh, to the point of becoming their mentors over the long haul. She helped me develop my work further than I think the other professors did. In addition to her career, Margaret has been an instrumental part of the academic and civic communities, something that didn't change once she retired. She accomplishes things uh, in teams and in committees that are astonishing and, and yet cooperative. If she puts her name on your list, she will be there at your event doing what she said she would do. She taught us to seek what we enjoy and to make the best of it. She's placed such importance on family and relationships that she's brought us so much. You know, we were the people we are, my brother and I, now because of her. Margaret has left a lasting impression on her family, community, colleagues, and state. And it doesn't seem as if she'll be slowing down anytime soon. She will leave a wonderful legacy not only in the arts in general and in art history, but just in the community in Oklahoma City 
in Edmond, in Norman, where she often comes. She is a, a person who is, has certainly left her mark in many ways. The curriculum here, half of the courses that are in our major were introduced first and written up by Margaret Flansburg. She will live on in the memory of many as a person who certainly made the arts accessible and understandable. She doesn't keep her light under a bushel. She shares it with everyone she meets and everyone she touches. And uh, we, we could use uh, a lot of people like her. Please join us in welcoming Margaret Flansburg to the Chickasaw Hall of Fame.